Ooh, oh, neck. My neck is fucked. Hello. <laughs> My name's Zach Lonner. Welcome to the on the stream. So, real quick, just wanted to talk to y'all because uh, apparently there were some. Oh, well, just to let y'all know <clears throat> what's going on. Overwatch 2 has released their. Hold on, let's correct myself. Overwatch has released their new season uh, to where it. Now, magic shit or D&D stuff, whatever. But that was not all they released. They also released the pricing of story missions coming next season. Yes, that's right. Um, from what I'm understanding of this, I'm probably going to read the whole thing. I can make sure that these are correct because I do not know. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to read this, make sure if this is correct because uh, sometimes people could just say things and it's taken all out of proportion so let's double check welcome uh the rise of null sector begins with new story missions in zero hour we saw the rogue omnic group null sector invade paris it was thanks to winston's tracer may and a handful of other heroes that the city was saved from destruction however the global invasion has only just begun <gasps> cool uh null sector is bringing Utter destruction to every city and seems to have an ulterior motive to kidnapping Omnics for their unknown purpose. It's up to the new Overwatch team to find out what their plans are and put a stop to them. But they'll need help from past allies and new faces alike if they hope to stand a chance. So, in Overwatch 2 Invasion, uh, you and your friends can take on three action pack missions. That's it. Three. Okay. <clears throat> I think we, you guys, if you guys want to read ahead, you guys can because you guys already see where I'm getting at. Um, <sighs> massive maps with complex objectives. Uh huh. Massive maps, my ass. And an in depth storyline that will guide you along the way. You'll fight against the intensified forces of Null Sector who will continue to attack until you've completely dismantled them. Stay alert for challenging enemies that haven't been encountered before, such as powerful artillery and the deadly stalkers. You can get started on your missions to save the world with Overwatch 2's Invasion Bundle for $15. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. You guys okay, thought that was it? No, no, no. There's, there's more that comes with it. So, you get the three story missions. Three uh, story missions for 15 bucks. You get a thousand Overwatch coins, which I, that, that makes sense for the, at least the ten part, because maybe the five bucks is the PVE. But then they put in a soldier skin, which they say is um, they say it's twenty dollars for a skin. I want to. Okay, let's talk real quick about this, because uh, this is something that's been fucking bugging me a lot about Overwatch. Who in the fuck's in charge of their goddamn shop? Who's in charge of the shopping? Who's in charge of that? Because holy fuck, you're fucking them. You're fucking them right now. Don't get me wrong, there's idiots that are buying the shit, but goddamn it. <laughs> I'm one of them, but still. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie, I bought skins, and I'm already planning to buy another Moira skin when it comes out. I'm just waiting for it to come out, which they're probably not gonna release until the starting of Overwatch League. Um, but goddamn it, I'm, I'm waiting for that fucking skin, because it's a Moira skin. It's probably one of her best skins ever. And I'm like, God damn it. So, of course, I'm going to buy that. Um, am I still going to play Overwatch constantly? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to play it if my friends want to play it, but that's about it. Uh, besides that, no. Nah, we're just going to leave that how it is. But, uh, yeah. So, back to it, back to it, back to it. Why not, why not, why not? Okay, so... Uh, da, 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 da. You can get started on your mission to say that. You get that. You get a $20 skin. That, because for some reason, whoever the fuck's in charge of the monetization of that shit, that's what they think it costs. Uh, you get permanent access to Soldier as a playable hero for new players. Unlock upon completing story mission challenges. Then it gets worse. Um, there's more. The Overwatch 2 Invasion Bundle is intended to give new and veteran players alike an opportunity to explore the brand new story arc while giving them additional coins to unlock the premium battle pass or to buy cosmetic content for their favorite hero. 
Wait, so y'all did a thousand coins in the bundle so then it would help players buy the battle pass? Why not just put the missions in the battle pass? Because that's a dumb idea. Because now, not only do you have to spend, because it's not in the battle pass from what that's saying. Is, am I right or am I wrong on that? Like an opportunity to explore a brand new story arc while giving them additional coins to unlock the premium battle pass or to buy cosmetic contents for their favorite hero. That's stupid. I'm, I'm sorry to say it. That, that is fucking stupid because if y'all put it in the battle pass alone, that is $10 just for the battle pass and then you get the missions. Even if it's, even if it's weekly, you still get the missions. I don't know. That, that's, that sounds sketchy. Uh, you can also upgrade to the Overwatch 2 Ultimate Invasion model for 40 Oh, god damn it. $40. Mm, okay. Sure. Let's see. Why is it 40 bucks? Uh, you will have access to all the above as well as the No Sector Premium Battle Pass with 20 Battle Pass skips. So, in other words, you get up to what's it called? And no, it says $30 USD. Bitch, it costs 20 bucks just to get that. There's literally an option to buy a 20 tier level for 20 bucks. Over 10 bucks. Okay. An additional 1,000 Overwatch coins for a total of 2,000 Overwatch coins for $20. I mean, te yeah, that's technically the only thing that's sounding like correct on here. And two additional legendary skins for Cassidy and Cuticle that they are saying is a total of $38. Who the fuck is running this shit? Okay. I digress. Um, is there more? All new co-op event. In addition to story missions, you'll be able to take part in new bonus co-op missions on King's Row. Explore all new areas of the King's Row map as you guide a well-armed TS-1 push bot on a mission to save Iggy and the rest of the Omnic underworld from Null Sector. Oh, so there, there is a little bit more with the PvE from what I'm understanding. Why not just do that? Like, why, why not just do, like, a small little thing like that, but the map keeps changing on this co-op event. Why don't y'all do that? That would have been a little bit more better than just giving us three missions and then you had to spend an extra $15. So in other words, okay, so just to throw it all down, if you don't buy the bundle, which sadly, they're making the bundle sound like the easiest, uh, cheapest option, uh, you either have to spend 10 bucks for the battle pass and then the 15 for the coins and the missions, or what you could do is just say, fuck it, spend the 15 for that. But either way, you're still spending more than the 10 bucks that you already have to spend for the battle pass. What the fuck is going on with these marketing teams? <laughs> what, like, where are they thinking this is a good idea? This is the stupidest idea I've ever heard in my life. Oh my God. Okay. But yeah, I think they should just probably do that with co-op events. I think co-op events would just be a lot, but a lot much better than doing that. But now the question is: with these co-op events, are they going to do what they did with Star Watch, which is just call it a PVE slash PVP? Which again, I want to point out, I play Destiny Gambit. That is the true PVE slash PVP, and I fucking hate Gambit. I want to point out. <laughs> uh, I don't hate the game mode. I hate the players in it. Um. But God damn it, like that, that, that's that's what's pissing me off so much that they keep it feels like they're sugarcoating a lot of shit and I hate it. <laughs> it feels like you're in a bad fucking relationship and it's just them just keep on like gaslighting your ass. That's that's all it feels like. It doesn't feel like it's genuine at all. Uh, they have a new flashpoint mission, which I, I don't I don't care. It's just a new PVP thing, which it looks like it's a soul, isn't it? Let me see. Let's actually read this one. Why not? Uh, also launching with Overwatch 2 Invasion is Flashpoint, a whole new PvP core game mode available for all players in quick play competitive game mode, and this mode will feature two new locals that are Overwatch 2's biggest PvP maps. So how does this work? Uh, teams will fight for control of key positions across the map called Flashpoints, aiming to capture three of them before their opponents do. You have no time to relax once a point is captured, as the next one will already be, already be waiting. Wait, so is this just hard point from... 
This is just hard point on Call of Duty, isn't it? To where you hold a position and then the next one opens up and you have to go and try to get that position while earning points. Isn't that all just th this is? It's just hard point. Dude, what happened to them making like genuinely good shit? <laughs> Okay, yeah, I was curious on this. What what the fuck is this shit? I saw a little trailer on it where it was like Overwatch heroes and some weird training thing. So so what is the point? What do you get for the uh, master or hero mastery mission? So finally, we're introducing a new way to play and practice with your favorite heroes with hero mastery mode. These engaging training courses are specifically designed for each selected hero, testing your skills with their abilities. Hero mastery will also feature global leader leaderboards to showcase a top performing hero master across the world. So, who's the best, like, at killing bots? Cool. Um, Overwatch 2 Invasion will be launching the first courses for the selection of heroes, with more to come in future uh, seasons. The practice range is also getting, also gets its first major update this season with a brand new firing range to hone your aim with any hero, including dozens of, I just want to point out, this shit was in Overwatch 1. <laughs> I, I find it funny how... And, and I do find this funny. How, like, Destiny is also doing this, too. They they technically... <laughs> they technically brand it as new content, but really it's recycled content. But they do it in a subtle way because technically it is a new weapon because it does have new perks, which means it has a new way of uh, being used. So whereas Overwatch, when they try recycling shit, it's not really recycling shit. It's just... Hey, we brought it back, <laughs> but they're, they're throwing it out as if it's new content. New to Overwatch 2? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, if you're new to Over the universe of Overwatch, looking to jump into PvP Prey, uh, you'll be able to jump in with the Overwatch Hero Collection available starting on August 10th. Five bucks. Okay. The starter bundle includes access to all of your legacy heroes, three legacy epic skins along... This also sounds bad. Adventure awaits. Honestly, I'm curious on who this is because I'm curious if that's a shield or that's a surfboard. Maybe it's another speedster. A speedster support. Uh, but yeah, no, that's pretty much it. Um, that I want to talk about. You know what? Let's read the comments. We did that last time. That shit was fun. Because one guy did bring up a very good point last time. I wonder if uh, anybody did this time. Cool. Single player? Why? So, after all that drama, you still want us to pay for the new few missions you've been holding onto for years. Which I was more shocked, but you guys said no more PvE, so I won't bother spending a dime. It's what you wanted, right? Yeah. Okay, you can get started on your missions to save the world with Overwatch 2 Invasion Bundle, $15 USD. Uh, the <laughs> I love this shit. They highlighted it. Uh, uh, what else I can be a battle pass for 20 plus tiers? Yeah, they, 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 this one's, I love that they highlighted it a little bit more to showcase how dumb it is. Introducing our most exciting season yet. Overwatch 2's biggest playable drop yet. Story missions, new, yeah. Funny joke, we still got to get through Season 5 first. <laughs> okay, good to know, thanks. Oh, this is gonna piss off a lot of people. <laughs> I love you. Oh man, Kieran's awesome. You're telling me, all that costs less than a single Legendary skin. The fact that PvE costs anything is an insult. Now, I won't say that. I think PvE should cost something. Um, I think if anything, it should be on the battle pass. That's what I think it should be. But instead, uh, Blizzard's just being money hungry as fuck. Viable, you meant viable. You meant viable. Overwatch 2's biggest playable drop yet. Viable drop. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> not playable. It's viable. They're not wrong. They're, they're really not wrong. Uh, they didn't add the extra skins and coins. I still feel dumb giving them five bucks considering how long they've 
had it in their pockets. It should be free as a story at this point. Again, I don't agree with that. I'm going to open that window because goddamn it's dark over here. That helped the lighting a bit. Okay, um, I don't agree with that. I think Overwatch should, um, I think they should charge for the PvE because even Destiny does the same thing. They charge for PvE content. And when they do that, it's, um, and seeing that online is, uh, oh, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, I looked at a fucking Reddit post and then I, my brain went everywhere. Um, because Destiny does that, they pretty much charge for the, Seasonal missions, but then also the story stuff as well. So we want to progress through the story. They have that. But Destiny also does a thing to where they do have uh, a ledger, I guess you could call it. I really don't know how what to really call it. It's more of a timeline of what's been going on, starting from vanilla Destiny to how, where we are now. And that's where it continues, and that's how people can catch up to the story. Overwatch is a little tougher to do that because you have to look up pretty much the videos. I look up the cutscenes on the story missions. And not just that, the cutscenes in the archive events, they're not really the best. They're, quite frankly, if not, a little bit bad. The reason I say that is because they don't really help you understand what went down in the mission. Because you don't see the mission. You don't see the intensity of the mission. You don't see what they went through. Instead, it's just, we're going through a lot. And it goes to that, to... We successfully did it. So that, that's why I feel like the archives is a little tough to do that with a video. Um, but I, I do think the story should be charged. I think, if anything, it shouldn't be charged separately. <laughs> that shit should be in the battle pass, just like Destiny does it. They do the, their seasonal shit, and then they do their story mission shit all in one. That is what you're really buying when you do a Destiny one. This is you having to buy the battle pass separate and then having to buy the story mission separate and in my opinion that is a little stupid um yeah I, I don't think they should be free i think if anything more missions should be out i will say that because okay overwatch seasons are technically the shortest seasons in the world compared to other battle passes because fortnite's three months destiny's three months uh i'm pretty sure every other battle pass is a good like three months to work on um so with Overwatch, that's where the wire really gets hit down, like bad. Um, I just think if anything, more missions should be in that bundle. If they're getting the price that they want, or they want the price that they're asking for, there needs to be a lot more missions in that bundle. That thing is not worth it. It really isn't. Okay, let's keep going down. Uh, da, 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 da. They bragged about how much of the battle pass and cash shop is earning them. There's no reason to paywall or time lock these if they have the capacity to make them available at all times. Now, I'm not yelling at the devs about this one. It has the crusty ball stink of Bobby Activision all over it. They're not wrong. They're not wrong. Yeah, because I think Bobby is what's really fucking the whole thing up right now. If it is his final say on the like monetization of that stuff, which more likely it is. Yeah, he's... If people don't know, Bobby, uh, I forgot his last name. I think it's Bobby Koshak, Ko, Ko something. something. Something with a K. Point is, uh, Bobby is the CEO of Blizzard. Um, he was asked to step down. And no, he isn't like the boss boss because there is like a boardroom membership that happens with that and they get final say. So technically, they <laughs> decided to keep him. But it's mainly because I guess he has this type of idea with the monetization stuff. Which, personally, I think this is the worst idea for monetization. In general. I think this is the worst idea. Uh, where are we at? The whole article is trying to sell us so many different bundles. Jeez. Yeah, pretty much. It's so hard to be a fan of this game. <laughs> God, it really is. Uh, well, to me, it sounds like it'll be free for a limited time. Hmm... <laughs> Um, <laughs> the key word I'm seeing is permanent on all the bio packs, which, you know, would be fine if they're fun and there was like inkling a decent replayability, but oh wait, they canceled the core design to make it replayable, didn't they? Tragic. I'll just wait till some, you know, 
streamer uploads or plays it, it is a paywall. Not like I'll always have a hero available I want to play in the first place. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking of just saying, fuck buying it. I could just watch some guy just play it. And then boom, there you go. I won't get the intensity that I'm looking for, but eh, it's, it's better than dealing with their shitty practices. Uh, I'm just tired, man. I, I don't even... I can't deal with this. I'm glad I, that after four years, we're finally getting PvE, but I'm not even hyped anymore. That spark is just gone. Cool, I guess? Oh, God. This is, this is depressing. I hope they figured out the core, the morality, because I would give almost anything to be alive when this morale in nep book nugget go bankrupt in a couple dozen decades. Uh, yeah. This sort of getting... I don't know what the fuck he was saying there. My point is, uh... I think they're already getting a little fucked. Like, that's why it feels weird to make us pay for it. Yeah. They just got done saying, no, that's not the direction we want to go. And then they say people still looking that way. And they say, okay, 10 bucks for the bit we did manage to do. Yeah! <laughs> like, that's the way to get people back on their side. I'm glad I was taking another break next season. <sighs> <laughs> uh, base take from what we've seen so far I think the mission maps they've been working on looks beautiful unless they pulled the CDPR and deliberately lied to the leads about progress the blame is on big bucks Bobby damn dude everyone's getting going out there Bobby there was so much and this was just 29 minutes oh, holy fuck. wait right okay uh, even if you're okay with paying for these bundles, this still means you can't play PvE with all your friends now. What a joke. Oh, yeah. That's right, because if it's paywalled and your friends don't have it, you can't play it with them. Dude, that fucking sucks. I really try to support, be supportive of Blizzard. Lately, however, it felt like Blizzard is like, if we haven't disappointed you with our latest news... <laughs> It's because it's not the time yet, because we will. <laughs> and they always manage to. I see why Jeff left. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All of it's just depressing. I can't, I can't do it. Anymore. I can't. It, it just gets more and more sadder. But that's the sad thing. Um. Oh yeah. Wait, doesn't Diablo actually update as well? No, surprisingly. Please do. Um, I don't know what else to say about Overwatch. It's uh, it, it the season's downloading. I'll probably do that next. I'll probably just upload this and then do an upload reacting to the battle pass. Even though literally every time I react to the battle pass, it is probably the worst thing I ever could do. Mainly because um. How do I describe it? The battle passes, in my opinion, are the most... Ah, God, how do I describe their battle pass? I have no idea. I, we'll get to it in that video, but thank you guys for watching if you guys did. Uh, sorry for the news that we have to pay an extra 15 bucks just uh, to actually an extra $5 for PvE missions. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why you keep doing that. Either way, peace out, take care, like, subscribe, share this video with us, guys, friends, you guys enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed uh, Overwatch and you want to be more informed on it, come on down. I'll cover the news on that, and I'll probably cover the news on Destiny as well now, too. But um, right now, Overwatch uh, just, just isn't looking that good.